on the road to reach my potential, to find my potential, to claim my potential. Interesting day so far. <laughs> to um, buy some groceries and uh, the cashier was just not motivated to um, ring me up since I didn't have a pair of tits or ass like the customer right in front of me. And it's like, dude, what a shame, dog. Get your shit done. Not to say that I don't enjoy or appreciate a nice pair of tits or, or a nice round ass. Nope. But I'm not gonna let this shit uh, get in the way of my uh, professionalism. Maybe when I was uh, a bit younger, I used to uh, let it distract me a lot more. You know, I realized that uh, when you focus on yourself, focus on your potential, focus on learning, focus on doing, studying, exploring, it, it attracts a uh, it attracts people to you because who would you rather talk to? To the dude that's well traveled, traveled here and there, traveled to the cities that you've always wanted to go seeing the landscapes, the, um, the uh, tourist attractions that you've been desiring to go. Um, done things that you desire to do. Or to the fucker, would you rather chill out with the fucker that uh, just plays it safe and just uh, hangs out locally? I know some people will say, oh, wait, talking shit, dog. You know what I mean, man? Not everyone has the, has the ability, the privilege, the, the uh, ability to do um, what you do. And I think that's all the fucking punk ass. It's, a, it's the punk talking. Punk ass motherfuckers talking. And I keep on beating this point over and over because, uh, you know, that cashier with that sort of attitude will become a uh, fucking retiree. Is it retiree? Age? Is that the person? Is that the proper name? A retiree. When people are uh, able to retire, or qualify for retirement, um, he'll still be there clocking, checking out the groceries. Want me to bag these for you, mister? Bag them. And then it turns, it eventually turns into the motherfucker that, uh, I can't believe, man, I was, it was racism that kept me down. It was the patriarchy, man. It was Trump. Trump made me a lazy motherfucker. I had nothing to do with um, my parents, my grandparents, my um, step parents, my grandparents, my um, my community, the adults who claim that they were adults, <laughs> the adults who claim to be responsible adults around me. It's not their fault. Trump, bastard, he got me. It's almost, um, 
No, I think I could become get nervous and be like, oh shit, this is my, my name's going behind this piece. It's part of the collection. My god, I got a deadline. Man, I gotta make sales. But it's gotten to the point that, uh, alright, I'm good. I'm good. I got um, some uh, lunch waiting for me. It's good. It's good. Um, cook my lunch. is still there. Got a cold drink. Okay, I'm good. Um, let me focus on this. Just do my best on this little part here of the arm. I forgot what I was going with this point because. Uh, It does get a bit distracting when uh, on the little details because these Prisma pencils have no mercy. You fuck up, there's no eraser. White out will just fuck up and cake the drawing. keep on beating this point over and over because I uh, again I, I don't want you motherfuckers out there to fucking say oh my god it was uh, the patriarchy Trump and it was their fault <laughs> no you fucking idiot it was your fault you, even if people gave you bad advice which uh, I've been given a ton of bad advice a bunch of bad clueless unex is it inexperienced or unexperienced advice Misinformation, uh, sabotaged. But I think all those things were made to uh, attempt to make me quit. And I, so far, I've chosen. <laughs> I've chosen not to. I could. I could just say, "Man, dog, and look at me! All this work, and I haven't made no sales. Oh my God, man! What's all this for?" do that. There's still so much uh, to accomplish. Today, when I was uh, grocery shopping, I was like, mm, I could buy the carne asada for um, $9 a pound, $9 and change a pound. Or I could go for some uh, ground beef for um, 5 bucks a pound. I'm thinking, yeah, it'll be cheaper to get the ground beef. I need to check uh, what else is on sale at other places. Every dollar counts. Every penny counts. I think it was Jim Rohn um, who said something like, um, "When you look, when you look uh, after your dimes and nickels, they will look over your." Uh, Look over your dollars. And I believe that's true. Shit, be careful. I don't want to drop your pencil and uh, have it smear in area, an area that you don't want it to.
let's focus on you now. Are you studying what you want to become? Are you reading up on it? Checking up YouTube videos, YouTube documentaries? Seeing if anything related on it is on Netflix. If you've gone to the um, professionals, to the masters, to the champions, to uh, get insight. It's going to be a bit tricky here because the light source is over here. And if you hear that silence, it's just reference my hat here, wrinkles right there. That silence is just uh, me minding my own fucking business. I could go and find um, drama. Do you know what he said? Do you know what she said? Could you believe what they're marrying? What they're wearing? Could you believe that they're still married? Could you believe they're getting married? Guess who's dating who now? Um, what other shit is out there? You know, hear what Kanye said. Although um, it took me a while to accept Kanye, but once I saw some of his interviews about his creativity, then I see him a bit different. I'm thinking. <laughs> I think the um, the death of of Tupac has gotten me has gotten sadder and sadder over time because when I see this little yachty, <laughs> what the fuck is that? Fucking music! I'm like, no, this is hip hop, this is rap. That's gangster. No.
watching the um, I should probably make a video called Things I Don't Understand About the Flash uh, TV Show. Well, the Flash and the Green Arrow. The Flash with his cuckoldness and then um, Green Arrow with uh, um, being betrayed over and over by the same people. I don't get that. <laughs> 